Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So right now we have some Zen Market sales and I want to cover is any of it of any value. These items are there for a limited time during this week from last Thursday until the next Thursday. These include the Mythic Premium Mount Bundle, the Straight Insignia Choice Pack and the Enchanted Key and Magnificent Resurgent Lockbox Bundle. Be aware there's also a Wondrous Bazaar sale of a Greater Stone of Health which has not been updated to look like it's mythic, but it is. So let's cover, is any of it worth it? And what's up with the crazy high price of the premium mount bundle? Is that actually any sense to be that price? Just be aware that these prices will come from the PC server, and that's where I'll be looking at the evaluations for the cost differences. And if you're on a different platform, the values of things may be different. So just be aware of that. So in terms of the premium mount bundle, first of all, what do you get? Well, one mythic mount of your choice of this full selection. It will all be account wide. Then you get two legendary mounts of this selection. And then you also get two mount upgrade token packs of 200. So you get 400 upgrade tokens and you get 20 greater shards of empowerment. If we go and look at the value of all of these, including all the mounts, we can see on PC, this would be the prices of those mounts right now on the auction house. So the most expensive one would be Unity Unicorn at 4.4 million. In terms of the legendary mounts, well, that would be the Celestial Stag at 1.25 million pretty much. And then the follow up would be the Swarm at nearly 700,000. Again, all of these prices fluctuate quite a lot and just be aware that these are player driven prices and they change whenever the supply and demand goes up and down and basically whatever people choose to list them at. So it can be a little bit volatile to compare these prices, but we move to then the overall pack when we include the Mythic Mount, so we take Uni the Unicorn at the most expensive, then the Celestial Stag, then the Swarm. Then we take the 400 Mount Tokens and the 20 Greater Shards. The Mount Tokens are calculated based on the price of Astral Lockboxes and, and the amount of trade bars you get, and thus the amount of upgrade tokens you can get through that. So that's about 1.2 million for 400 upgrade tokens. And the Greater Shards, based on the PC server, is about 20 Shards for 1.7 million. So this totals up to, yeah, 9.2 five million astral diamonds which if we do the math converting that to zen would be twelve thousand three hundred and thirty because one zen is equal to 750 astral diamonds so that's actually decent then not a bad deal if you look at it in that regard that it equates to about the same amount of astral diamonds so they didn't value it too badly one thing I would be aware of though is that Zen can be a little bit more valuable because it takes a long time to get if you want to do it through the th free to play method of the Zen exchange which takes about eight to nine months before it gets converted but you are using that straight Zen exchange conversion and so that is yes value here but if you consider your time then that Zen goes up by an absolute ton and I would generally rate Zen at about 2000 Astral Diamonds to one Zen, but that's up to you. This is ultimately the direct conversion value, so it's not bad, but I personally would not get the pack. There is nothing there that is a must have. There are some good options like Ebon Riding Lizard, four slot mount. It comes with some useful bonuses here, mainly for healers and tanks though. Deadly Drider form, also some very nice bonuses there. Ones for damage dealers as well. Uni the Unicorn with all of these bonuses, some for damage dealers, some for healers. And then the King of Spines with its Tyrannosaurus Rex and combat power, very good for supports, healers and tanks to support the team and dealing more damage. As for the rest of them, well, they're just going to be cosmetic mounts, pretty much. And then for the legendary mounts, well, there is the Swarm, which is very good. There is the legendary Giant Toad, which is very good. But again, all of these you can get off the auction house individually. You might not need all of them. And so this pack could end up not being as great a value as you might think. But it is there and up to you if you want to get it. But in terms of resale value, it's terrible. It's 
again about the same value as the pack itself so no points reselling it you're just losing astro diamonds because of the 10 percent cut you may as well just directly convert your zen to astro diamonds if you needed the astro diamonds we move on from there to the mount insignia choice pack and this is not actually such bad value in the supply section here it goes for 2000 zen you can of course get a discount 20 percent off Make sure you're getting your celestial bags, saving them, and you can open them and get 20% off this. But even if you are to just buy it at its value right here, we can check the different prices of those insignias, and you end up with this, the pack valued at over 3,200 zen because of the price of those insignias. Again, that's with the direct conversion of 1 zen equals 750 astral diamonds as you get through zen exchange here but again i would value my zen a little higher but even then since the pack is valued this high versus the price they are selling at it at 2000 it is again a very good deal i would also make sure again to get that 20 percent off and you can reduce that price down even further just don't prioritize mythic insignias too highly unless you don't have much else to go on because in terms of the order you can check my video where we have 34 steps to max you can see that it would be down here mythic insignias to get 15 of them step 32 and step 33 to get your full stable so you can get to yeah over 87,000 item level without them at all which means you do unlock all content in the game right now so they're not a must-have then we go to the magnificent lockbox and the key bundle you can get with that so that's in the key section here you can buy 20 keys for 2000 zen that's generally the same price you get for all those other key bundles maybe a little bit more expensive at 2250 actually but this one, again, you can get discounted via coupons because that's the base cost. I personally would never buy keys. Just get VIP, get one key per day, and that's it. You're better off just buying Astro lockboxes in most cases if you need trade bars from lockboxes than buying keys here. But if you were to do so, you'll also get 20 of these magnificent resurgent lockboxes and you could choose to open them. I personally would avoid them. Why? because they have no good reward that you can obtain at chance these packs will sell for a bit but not generally as much as say the top reward on a regular lockbox like this with the crystal of souls flight and the demon wings they'll go for a lot more and they have yes a little bit lower chance of dropping versus these boxes dropping these epic companion and artifact and mount pack but none of them have that great companions and mounts in there like if the companions had said they the neverwinter night and the tutor spine devil all those good ones then it would be good it just has minsk and it just has lich and it doesn't even say that they're account wide so they're probably not what you need to do to get the top reward is open 250 no other way around it that's the only time you get this 250 that would mean you'd have to buy 13 of these packs spending 26,000 zen which is the equivalent of nearly 20 million astral diamonds via the exchange and so that just ends up not worth it just to get that pack right here which has all of these rewards and the main reward in it that sells for the most are these golden companions you can check the price of them on the auction house the deep crow is dropping in price because that's dropping in the astro lock box the other ones like the golden cat nearly 9 million and same with the bullet so you're not really getting your value back if you were to go buy that many keys and that many lock boxes to open it so i wouldn't really deem it worth it it's up to you but it just does not have that chance to drop good rewards throughout opening it. So I don't deem it as very valuable. And so lastly, the deal on the Wanderer's Bazaar with the Stone of Health and straight up just avoid it. It's not worth it at all because this gives you 200 charges as a Stone of Health, which you can just buy a Stone of Health on purple at just about 20,000 Astral Diamonds with 50 charges. So... This has a quarter of the charges of the mythic one, but it only costs 20,000, meaning, yes, if this had 200 charges, it would only cost me 80,000 astral diamonds, 
versus spending 220,000 Astro Diamonds here or even 300,000 on the auction house. Avoid. Buy the purple stones. You'll be fine with those. That is ultimately it for this week's sales and my advice on whether to buy or not. Personally, I would avoid the Mount Bundle pack. Not necessary at all. The Mount Insignia pack, pretty good value there. Get whatever insignia you want if you have the spare Zen to get those. And then the key bundle, avoid. Stone of Health, avoid. With that said, a special thank you to all of these channel members for your added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.